Hi, I'm Scott, and I'm reviewing some of 7 Eleven Japan's grilled fish. Plump and juicy grilled karafuto shishamo, or as they're called in English, capelin, and they're filled with roe. So these kinds of fish, they're popular with kids and adults. They're very easy to eat. You eat them from all the way to the head, to the, to, to the toe. They don't, <laughs> they don't really have toes. For all the way from the head to the tail, and these are filled with roe, which is tiny little fish eggs. Ooh. Now, joking aside, you'll find these in izakayas and bars. They're really good for drinking with, um, and you, you're usually served with like a slice of lemon and maybe a, a blob of mayonnaise or some kind of dipping sauce. Now, I didn't know this, but these are like the imported versions. So if you had the real shishabo, which is caught in Hokkaido in the waters of Japan, you would pay 10 times the price for these. <laughs> so, you know, we're on a budget. We're having convenience store food. So this is enough. But um, if you do come to Japan and you want to try the real thing, which is supposed to be 10 times more delicious as well, give it a shot. But today we're going to try these ones. So what's the difference between karafuto shishamo and real shishamo? Here's some information that I looked up. Okie dokie. Now, while I go and heat these up for 30 seconds, let's go in for a closer look. Okay, that's us all heated up. I've got my rice and I've got my fish. So let me just open it up here. That's what they look like when they're in the pack there. So anyway, they don't look very special. They're just like little fish. And um, you can see they're kind of plump, full with um, eggs. This one, yeah, some of them are actually bursting open. They're so, they're so full of um, eggs in there. So first, let's have a bit. Of, I'm always a bit kind of... Um, wary when I have uh, fish dishes which I'm not too familiar with so I like to give it a bit of a sniff first. There we go, not overly fishy but it smells nice like a nice grilled fish. So if you go to the izakayas and stuff they do put a, like a little um, lemon wedge on the side. I don't have that today so I think it would be nice with a lemon wedge and maybe come some kind of dipping sauce like some mayonnaise or something but I don't have any of that today so it doesn't really feel like much when it's in there so we'll see if there's plenty of eating in them so I'm going to choose this one here which is this one here so let's go straight in head first <laughs> Now, I was kind of expecting the, the little eggs to be crunchier because everybody said they're kind of crunchy, but they kind of melt in your mouth a little bit. Nice texture, mm, kind of a buttery flavor, buttery, oily kind of a flavor. And there's so, so many eggs in there. It's amazing. <laughs> it's like, where's the meat on this? Where's the body going? <laughs> it's like the body's been taken over by all these eggs. Check it out. Can you see all those eggs inside there? Yeah, let's try it with a bit of rice, eh? There we go. Cheers. 
<laughs> Take two. <laughs> this time, let's eat the fish as well, not just the rice. Okay. Mm. Now, after my first cup, well, after my first fish, I, don't, I was expecting it to be maybe juicier. Um, it was kind of disappointing in terms of juiciness, but it kind of makes up for that in terms of flavor. As for the texture of the fish itself, I mean, it's a whole fish you're getting in there. You're having the head, all the bones, the insides, and all the eggs. So you're getting a full, I don't know, a full mouthful of flavors and textures all mixed together. Um, they said the little bones can sometimes be a little bit problematic by, you might feel them getting stuck in your throat a tiny bit, but they're so small, they just kind of melt anyway. So I think the bones are nothing to worry about. What I do need, I would like something like a dipping sauce or maybe some mayonnaise or even a little bit of lemon juice, just to add, I don't know, there's something missing from them. Maybe some people are satisfied just with the flavor of the eggs and the texture of the eggs. But for me personally, I think I need, I don't know, something more. Now, if I was having this just with some beer or maybe some wine and some other little dishes, uh, as you do in Japan, um, I think this would be much better. I'm having here, like as a dinner, just the fish and the rice. So I think it would go better if you had some side salad or perhaps some other little dishes to go with it so you could get a bit more variety. But just on its own, it's a bit of a punch in the face, so to speak, but um, it's really good. I, don't get me wrong, coming in this little package, it's nice, but um, okay, for my rating, I'm gonna give this three stars out of five. Because of the reasons I talked about before, um, I just would need a little bit of sauce or maybe something else to go with it. But, uh, and maybe I'm missing the alcohol. Maybe that's the thing. Can I have a beer, please? Sumimasen! <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.